Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Our source for the election map today is researchco.ca 2024 10-8 Battlegrounds US 2024 website. It has Harris leading in three of the battleground states. So let's fill in that map and see who wins this election in 2024. Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon State with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada and Arizona with six electoral votes and 11 electoral votes respectively are not colored in according to the research website that we cited at the beginning of the video. Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with five electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, the state, is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the second district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris, making Nebraska at large AL red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Iowa with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Now here's where things start to get interesting, everyone. If you've been following our maps for the last month, Wisconsin and Michigan were leaning heavily for Kamala Harris for weeks, and then they started tilting favor to Donald J. Trump. But now, according to researchco.ca, they are both blue for Kamala Harris, making Wisconsin and Michigan both blue for Kamala Harris. But that also makes Pennsylvania with 19 electoral votes, according to our source, blue for Kamala Harris, where she supposedly has anywhere between a 0.5 and 1 point lead over Donald J. Trump. Now, going back to the other side of the map, we have Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance Hillbilly Eulogy. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, you're the only Tennessee, with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, according to a research uh, source, is not colored in. It's a toss-up. Anyone could win this state. North Carolina with 16 electoral votes is also a toss-up. Anyone could win it, according to our source that we showed at the beginning of the video. South Carolina, though, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is heavily blue for Kamala Harris. New York with 28 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Maine is blue for Kamala Harris and the first district is blue for Kamala Harris according to our source. And Maine at large M-AL2 is blue for Kamala Harris. New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and D.C. are all blue for Kamala Harris, according to the source. That puts Kamala Harris at 271 electoral votes and Donald J. Trump and Republicans at 218, making Kamala Harris the winner of the 2024 election for President of the United States of America. If we don't count the other four uncolored states, oh my goodness, this election is so so close to being over with. A lot of people are saying they can't wait for it to be over because the tension is just too much. One person wants one candidate to win. One person wants another candidate to win. And some people don't want either of them to win. They wish we were not in this predicament. Who do you guys want to win? As my wife asked at the beginning of the video. And once again, I am President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are. Out. <laughs>